Hey, y'all. So let's see. What does the collective need to be aware of? We got somebody who's bisexual. All right. <laughs> Jump right in. All right. What's this? Uh, something is going to happen in a couple of days. Too many. Tell me more. Something about a stepbrother. Something about social media. Trying to block your throat track or to silence you. Okay. If you have a social media, you have a platform. If you're doing what I'm doing. You know, you could be talking, you could be doing tarot, doing what I'm doing. They're trying to, like, block your throat chakras. I know they're trying to do that to me. All right? But they could be trying to silence you somehow. A stepbrother. Okay? Tell me more. Or somebody who's bisexual. Okay? Just be aware. Let's see. We have here multiple streams of income and lay low. Okay? So lay low because... Uh, Somebody could be trying to, like, I don't know, maybe block your income or some shit. We have a karmic reader. So, yeah, I said you could be a reader. This, this person could be a reader, too, and they're trying to block you. They, they're trying to blame you for something. They want you to have your, your guard down. Maybe they're trying to blame you because you don't want to trauma bond with them. You don't want them to be in your circle. This is somebody who could be uh, a friend of yours, all right? And they put your ass on an altar, <laughs> All right, this this karmic, okay? So this is somebody who could have been a friend, somebody that you didn't want to put in your circle, all right? Because there was a card that said right here, watch your circle, all right? They wanted you to trauma bond with them. They wanted you to be, you know, vibing low like them. Like, you don't got time for this shit. You got bigger things to do, all right? You wasn't dealing with this shit. And they definitely trying to block your, your, you know, your throat chakra. They don't want people to hear your message. They don't want you to, to do whatever it is that you do online, uh, we have here that you are protected and they want you they want you to have your guard down, all right? So Spirit is saying that's not going to happen. You are protected. Even if you put your guard down, you are divinely guided and protected, okay? So let's see what else. So let's see. Anything else? Whoa, too many cards. Yeah, cock blocking. They trying to cock block. I'm telling you, they doing something here. You got some type of changes here. Yeah, look, and it says here that they're literally preying on your downfall. All right, they're probably going to try to come in and gaslight you or some shit. And so we're saying here that you are, you, you, you're you freeing yourself, okay? They want to block you from having this uh this new beginning, this change. I want to see what is in a couple days. Because there's something maybe like communication or some shit. So let's see. We'll, we'll clarify that right now. Yeah, I just picked up the cards and I got uh, the uh, social media stalking card. Okay, the page of swords, you know? Like definitely they watching your social media. All right, what's going to happen in a couple days, Spirit? What does the collective need to be aware of? What does the collective need to be aware of? In a couple days. In a couple days. In a, whoa. Oh, in a couple days. I'm telling you, they're going to be sneaky. They're going to be on some shit. Just how that card came out, it was sneaky. Like, whoa, <laughs> surprise, bitch. <laughs> And they're trying to do something here, okay? Some type of heartbreak, some type of, like, maybe give you some type of... I don't know. Let's keep going. Let's see. What is this uh, Seven of Swords? What are, they, what are they doing in a couple days? Yeah, this energy. Somebody who's vengeful, uh, manipulative. Okay, a Queen of Cups in the reverse. All right? She pretends to be a sweet person. All right? But she's not. She's actually uh, manipulative and sensitive. She's fake. All right, she got some type of, you know, some type of toxicity to her. Whoa, okay. All right, so I just see that whatever she's going to do, it's not going to it's not going to work. Maybe try maybe trying to bring light to something. What is the sun spirit? What is the sun? What is the sun? Yeah, we got bad luck cards here. All right, this is uh, upright. Upright. Oh, ho, 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 ho. it's a trap. It's a trap. Yo, it's a trap. What in the world? 
Oh my God, y'all, we gotta be on point because this is somebody, and you know I'm part of the collective, you know what I'm saying, so I gotta be on point, like, bitch, not gonna happen. Listen, they wanna come towards you, the Empress, and they wanna, like, trap you somehow. They're intending to do this, but you know it's not gonna work because you are protected, okay? But they're gonna try to come in with some bullshit trying to act like hey girl i miss you how you been da, 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 da. you looking good out here you know what i'm saying like i'm some bullshit right but whatever they're doing is like it's gonna cause you to take some type of financial loss you know like to get you caught up or stuck and it says here a vicious cycle you know like it's gonna get you caught up in some bad you know like in, in a in a in a repeating cycle so, I don't know if they're going to come to you with an offer or some shit. All right. Um, but they're going to communicate with you. And they're going to try to come towards you. And it's to keep you, like, in, in a repeated cycle. You know, for acting like they're your friend, but they're really not. Yeah, I just saw the fake card. They're being fake. These bitches is corny, bruh. All right. But this is your protection. This is a form of your protection. You know, these readings. How do you know what's going on? Because when they write to you, they're going to they're gonna write to you. So it wants you to be aware that they're being fucking fake. All right? They could have been siphoning your energy or some shit. Because they already got you on an altar. They was, they they doing something to you. They trying to do something. So they need to get back into your energy is what I'm feeling. All right? That's how they get back into your energy. By being fake. All right? Trying to get back into your circle. Acting like you, hey, girl. Oh, what up, bro? What's going on? And they really on some shit. It could be somebody's stepbrother or brother involved in this shit, too. All right. So just be alert. And, uh, you know, don't give in to this energy. Like, you know, don't answer the fucking, don't answer the phone. <laughs> yeah, they want to weigh you down. Exactly. Listen to me. You cannot make this up. They could be trying to sacrifice you. Look at this shit. They're trying to sacrifice you. They're trying to have you feeling stuck, like I said. They want you to be weighed down, like it says here, delayed, unmotivated. And they don't want you to be able to close out a cycle. They want you to stay, like it says here, resistant to the change and unable to move on. They want to keep you in a repeated cycle. So they're going to try to come back into your energy so that the black magic could work. All right? But you are protected. All right. Maybe it worked in the beginning. Maybe it worked before, you know, because we have to go through these things, you know, like, again, I'm protected, but I went through things when I was vibing at a lower vibration and God wants us to experience those things because it's going to give us spiritual strength. All right. The more that they attack us, the more that we get blessed. All right. The more that we learn about this shit, the more that we could, you know, uh, help others, you know, be a, a guiding light to others. So that's why I went through it. That's why I felt these things, because I'm supposed to guide others. I'm supposed to be like, yo, this is what happened to me. So do this. This is going to help you. And it comes out in every reading. Raise your vibration. Use your protection. You know, uh, light a white candle. Pray. You know, cleanse your energy. That's it. We don't return nothing. You know, we don't do shit. You know, you let God return that shit. Let God handle it. You know what I'm saying? Because... All you got to do is raise your vibration. You won't feel nothing. I don't feel what I used to feel years ago when they was doing this shit to me. All right? So, if they was able to do this years ago or they was able to just do this before, then they're, they're not able to do it now. All right? You already went through your spiritual boot camp. All right? You went through your spiritual training and uh, you are, you know, you are not getting touched anymore. You know? You're not going to get... They, they cannot reach you with whatever, whatever the fuck they're trying to do. So, they're going to try to come back into your energy acting fake. So that they could get access into your energy. Acting like they support you. They want to help you. That they're watching you on social media or whatever the fuck. But they're trying to determine. Like you know, like it says here. Your past will not determine your future. They're trying to fuck with your future. They're trying to, again, keep you stuck. Keep you in a vicious cycle. Keep you weighed down. Unmotivated. Feeling stuck. Like literally. another. And it says here stagnation in career as well. Lack of hope. Right here. Decreased income. Lack of security. Wasted opportunity. Don't, don't, don't give this person access into your energy. All right. Don't be cool with them. This is a warning because it's going to happen in a couple days. All right. So be aware. Okay. So let's pull some other cards and see what else we get. Let's pull from here to see what comes out. All right. Let's see. All right, spirit. Anything the collective needs to know?
So yes, definitely if you was guided here, you need to be alert that this person is going to try to get back into your energy. Uh, you are on this person's altar. Okay, this person could be bisexual. And they're trying to get back into your energy to cock block and to try to start some bullshit. Yeah, this all meeting. Like, they probably want to meet up with you or some bullshit. It's like, bitch, go to hell. <laughs> like, leave me the fuck alone. All right? Let's see. Yeah, you cannot make this off. Look, mask off and seven of wands, defend yourself. See? Under attack. This person is coming in on some bullshit. All right? But she thinks that she's slick or he. All right? They think that they slick. But, uh... They're not slick. All right, look, they could they could be planning something with a hitman. This came out in the readings before that they want to link up with you. Uh, you know, like here, they want to get back into your into your good energy, but they pay somebody to try to do something to you. So you need to be aware. That's what it says here. Defend yourself. Masks off. This person is not your fucking friend. This person is jealous of you. And they and they doing some type of voodoo to you and they want to they want to get back into your energy. Justice is on your side. You are protected. A uh, Libra could be involved with that justice energy because that's the that's the seven uh oh seven. What is seven? Yeah, the Libra seven. Seven of Wands. Uh, Wands energy. Okay, Aries Leo Sag. But I, when I saw justice, I saw I saw a right away Libra. A Libra could be involved. All right, and yeah, again, plan. They trying to plan something on you. All right, you could be the Aries, or this could be them. All right, tell me more. Okay. Yeah, they're trying to backstab you. Maybe they're trying to poison you or some shit. We got a Sagittarius involved here. Again, trying to get you like to come out. You know, to come outside. Come link up. Let's go get some drinks. And do something. Maybe put something in your drinks. And then get you kidnapped or some shit. We have here a stepbrother. Maybe a stepbrother trying to help. All right. Or something about some shit. Yeah, look. A masculine. Okay. What's behind that? Strategize. You cannot make this up. I'm telling you. All right, look, they had a meeting, a neighbor's involved, somebody who's an, a drug addict, okay, and severing karmic ties, exactly. These are karmic These are karmic ties. And look, bottom of the deck, they paid a hitman, all right? So these people are working together to try to come, try to get, you know, access to you. So you need to be careful. Don't link up with nobody. Um, don't talk to nobody. They reach out, reach out to you or whatever the fuck, trying to be your friend again or whatever. Just don't even reply. Like, it's simple as that. Let God handle it, all right? Um, just be, again, pretending uh, pretending like you don't know nothing, you know? Like, you are just minding your business, but you know everything that's going on here, okay? Go about your business. Keep on protecting yourself, all right? Walk around with a fucking uh, something on you if you have to because it's some weird shit here, all right? And with drug addict, they probably pay, you know, maybe that's the, that's the hitman. They try to pay somebody who's a drug addict who would do anything for money. All right, that came out in the reading last time that I did, that I, it was like a written reading that it said that they would do anything for money because they don't have nothing to lose. All right, so be careful. Be careful. Somebody's going to try to come back into your energy on some bullshit, and they're really trying to plot on you, so you need to be aware. All right? So that was the reading, y'all. Hope I was able to help. Stay woke.